Good day, this is Coach Paul Eugene and I am back with an exciting new workout for you today. Well, a new day has been given to you and to me. Let us unwrap this gift of today. Well, today I'm gonna to be doing standing abs and some standing stretches. This is not gonna be any intense workout. It's gonna be what I call a gentle flowing workout. So all I need for you to do is take a stance to your right and to your left, I want you to bend your knees slightly and we're gonna take some fresh new oxygen in for this day. So we take our arms down, bring them straight up and bring them down, open up that chest and bring the hands down to your thighs. Let's do it again, inhale, exhale on the way down, open up, hands onto your thighs. Let's try it one more time, inhale, ah. Open up that chest, hand to your thighs, everybody, hold it right here. Now, all I want us to do is with our hands here, pivot from our waist, hands going down our legs, hold here, give me a flat back and roll it back up. Excellent. Shoulders back, let's try it again. Hands on your thighs, going down those legs, do not touch your knees, and roll up. Oh yeah. One more time, hands on those thighs, rolling down those legs, flat back and roll up. Excellent. Shoulders back. Ah. I just want us to take a little stretch to the right and left. Just waking up the body a little bit. Yes. Getting ready for those standing crunches. <laughs> You'll love it. And some good stretching. Yes. Now just give me four more of these, okay? And four, how are you today? Two, are you up? Or are you down? Hold it right here. Now, our knees are slightly bent. We're going to take our hands behind our head here, our ears, and we're going to crunch down. Follow me. I'm going to go down. Four, three, two, and back up. Four. Three, two, gentle crunches, down. Four, three, two, and bring it up. Four, three, two, hold that core in, take it down. Four, three, two, and bring it up. Four, three, two, and down again. Four, three, two, and up. Four, three, Two, again. This is just what I call a gentle flow, standing ab workout with control. We're not rushing through this. Yes, we're totally in control. Make sure you still are holding those abs in. That is, pull that belly button back towards your back again oh yeah one more time up excellent now from here drop the arms down we're going to work the obliques so when this position we're going to just reach but we crunch when we crunch there's that oblique right there reach and crunch reach and crunch again reach and crunch i love this gentle standing abs flow yes Woohoo! you got so much control here you're not breaking your neck oh yeah now give me four yes three squeeze hair yes and two Oh yes, and one more. Excellent. Now, hold here. Now, we're gonna do this side. Are you ready? Let's go, right here, take it over. One, and squeeze. Keep those knees bent. I don't want them straight locked, okay? We're taking that stress off of those joints. Oh yeah, reach. Now, squeeze. 
squeeze right there. Reach and squeeze. You got it. Reach and squeeze. Again, reach and squeeze. Give me four more. Reach, squeeze, reach, and squeeze. Two more. You got this. Yes. Last one. Hold it right here. Now, how did you do? Now from here, we're gonna work our trunk by turning to the right and turning to the left. I still want these knees soft and you're still slightly bent. You're just turning from right to left. Easy going. Keep those abs contracted. Just gently flowing side to side. You got this. We got it. I love it. Oh yeah. Working that mid-center. Turn it. Work that trunk. Yes. You got this. And you thought you had to lay down on the floor to work your core and your abs. Let's give me four more twists. And four. Yes. And three. Yes. And two. Yes. Last twist. You got it. Hold it right here. Now, how did you do? Now we're gonna move on. We just worked our trunk. And now I'm gonna have us work your obliques again, but this time a different way. This time our hands are here, and all we're gonna do is go over, center, and over, center, again. Now keep those abs contracted, yes, so we can really work our obliques. Again, over and back, excellent. Over and back, you got this. Oh yeah, easy going. Again, give me four more sets here. Oh yeah. We're on what set number? This is number three, I'm counting down. Yes. We got this. Set number two, here we go. Oh yeah. I love it. Last set. Right here. Down. Okay. Up. And down. Come center. Drop the hands. Now, how was that? Ha <laughs> ha. Now we got to move on. Now this time we're gonna cause our legs to get involved. So it's gonna be a crunch where we pull the knee up just like this. Up, down, up, and down. Try to keep control when you pull it up. Up, down. Elbow doesn't have to touch the knee. We're just pulling that leg up. Yes. Give me four, three, two, and one. Hold here. Now, how was that? We gotta work this side. And four, three, two, let's go. Pull it up, down. That's it, right there. I'm not in a hurry. I'm not in a rush. Keep that balance right there at the top. Excellent. Again, give me four, three, Two, and one, hold here. <laughs> How did you do? I know that challenged you 
to keep your balance. But let's do it again on this side, okay? And four, three, position yourself, two, ready, pull it up. Up, oops, lost my balance, and down. Again, <laughs> up, and down. Hold, release, hold, release. Hold, release. Hold, release. Hold, release. Give me four, three, two, and one. Hold here. How did you do? <laughs> did you lose your balance like I did? But that's all right. Just think, we're working on our core and working on our balance. Two for the price of one. We got to go on what? This side. Ready? Let's go. Hold. Release. 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 And hold. Release. How was that? I think I want to put a small combination together. Yes. We're gonna start here. Watch me first. We're gonna crunch down, crunch up, crunch to the side, crunch center, crunch to the side, and come back center. That's the move. Count down. And four, getting us set. And three, and two, Everyone, here we go. Follow me down. Four, three, two, and up. Four, three, two, to the right. Four, three, two, and center. Four, three, two, to the left. Four, three, two, come up. Four, three, Two, to the front now. Four, three, two, and up. Four, three, two, to the right. Four, three, two, come center. Four, three, two, to the right. Four, three, two, come center. And four, three, two, crunch front again go down four three two and up four three two to the left and four I mean right three two come center four three two other side down and four three two come up and four three then the top again crunch down front and four, three, two, and up. Four, three, two, go down, come on. And four, three, two, come back center. And four, three, two, now take it down. And four, three, two, come back center. And four, three, two, drop the hands down. Woo! How did you do? Wrap the paw. Just shake it out. Let's twist this trunk a little bit. Yes. <laughs> now, I'm gonna move on. We're gonna work obliques again, but another way. Just give me four more twists. Four, simple twists. Three, and two, and one. Hold here. Now, I want this hand here. Just imagine, you have a weight in your hand. Knees are bent. You go down and up. Reach down. Pull up right there. Down. Up. Down. Up. That's it. We should do these in our old school aerobics classes. <laughs> we sure did. And you remember. <laughs> Just give me four more. Reach. Come up. Reach. You got it. One more. 
hold it right here. Change arms and hands, ready, reach down. Make sure those knees are still bent, not lock, right there. Reach, pull up, reach, pull up, reach, come up, reach, oh yeah, excellent. You got it. Give me four, three, and two, and one. Hold here. <laughs> How did you do? Now, here's the deal. We're going to crunch front, turn this way, and turn that way, and crunch front. Here we go. Crunch down, crunch up, turn to the right, center, turn to the left, and center. Now front, down, excellent. And up, now turn. Keep those knees bent, center, and turn. Yes. Come back, crunch forward, front, front, down. <laughs> and up, now turn, yes. Come center, and turn, crunch, down. That's it. Come up, let's turn it. Turn, come center, and turn, come center, crunch down, down. Are you still contracting your abs? Turn, center, turn center and just stay in the crunch down and up let's go crunch it down up down up you got it crunch down up crunch down up give me four more please four yes Three that I'm going to add on. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha. And two. Yes. And last one. Excellent. Hold it right here. Ha <laughs> ha. How did you do? You can shake your legs out. Now the next one is going to be pretty, well, I'll say simple. But it's going to cause a knee lift. I'll just demo, okay? And four. Three, two, I'm going to go. Knee up and down. Knee up and down. Crunch forward when you pull that. Knee up right there. You want to keep control. Watch your balance. Yes, you got this. Again, give me eight. Slow down, Paul. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, and two, and one. Hold here. Now, that was just a simple knee lift where we crunched up front. But I'd like to try that again. Okay? Now you got to focus because you got to keep your balance. Yes. And don't rush through this. And four, three, two, we go up, down, up, release, up, release, up, release, up, release, up, release. Crunching over, yes, again. Hold, release, hold, release, hold, release. Last one, hold here. How did you do? <laughs> Pretty easy going. Now I know some of you are used to that their uh, pull up leg thing from the side here where you reach and pull and down. That's where we're going to go. Still working some of that core. A little bit cardio, but with what? And our gentle flow. Ready? We go. 
up, release, up, release. You don't have to reach up. Just pull that knee up and let it go. Yes, this is teaching us balance. We're pulling up. Yes, eight more. Give me eight. Keep that balance. Seven. Pull it in. Keep the abs engaged. Yes. Last four. Three. And two. And one. Hold here. Ha. How did you do? This side. I love that energy. It's teaching us balance. We pull it up and take it back down. Are you ready? Four, three, two, let's go. Up, down, balance. Keep that core contracted in. Pull it up. There you go. Balance. Oh yeah, balance. You got it. Again, eight more. Give me eight. Seven. Oh yeah. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Hold here. <laughs> How did you do? <laughs> well, it's time for me to bring us into our stretching. But before I do, let's do one more set of crunches going forward. Ready? Let's go. Down. Up. Down. Up. Again. Down. Up. One more time. Down. And up. Drop the hands down. Now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go into some stretching. Yes. And some squats to firm up those buttocks, strengthen those quads and hamstrings, of course. But first, we're gonna lunge right to left. You just go over, center, down, center. Still in that gentle flow. This is Paul Eugene Zong, standing abs and stretching and a gentle flow. Give me four, three, excellent, two, and one now. Come center, we go back down. One, two, three, our slow squat up. One, two, three, again, here we go. One, two, three, and up. One, two, three, and down. Keep those abs contracted in. Yes, don't hunch over. Try to keep that back straight. You got it? Take it down. Reach towards me. Excellent. Feel my energy. Oh yeah. <laughs> Again, take it down. Excellent. And bring it up. You got it. Hold it right here. Now we're gonna go into a stretch. Turn this way. We're gonna extend this leg back, stretching out that calf. Make sure this knee is not out over your toe. You take your hands onto this thigh for support. Hold it right here for eight. Seven, six, feel that stretch, five, and four, and three, and two, and one now. Come up. From this position, bring this leg in. We're going to sit back, and this is going to give us a hamstring stretch. Hold it right here for eight, seven. Six, five, oh yeah, come on. And four, three, and two, and one now. Bring it in, yes. Now we're gonna go 
on this side, same thing. This legs back, feel that calf stretch. Again, no knee out there over the toe. Hands here for support. Stretch it out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and two, and one. Now bring this leg in, sit back, hamstring stretch, hold it for four, three, and two, and one, four more. Give me four, three, two, and one now. Slide it in and roll up, turn to the front. Now from here, our legs are wide, knees are bent. Inhale up, <sighs> hands together, bring it down in front of your chest. Isometric stretch, pressing your hands together. Excellent. Lace your fingers through. Extend the arms straight out, relaxing your shoulders. Take it up, pressing up, pressing up. Hold there for four, three, two, and one. Release the hands down to your thighs. Now let's pivot from our waist and stretch out our back. Right here, we go down. Four, three, two, hold. No hands on the knees. You got it. Hold it right here for four, and three, and two, and one now. Roll it up for four, and three, and two. Shoulders back. Yes, take them back four times with me. Four, roll them back. Three, open up that chest. Two, and one now. To the front, come on. Roll those shoulders, yes. It feels good. You got it. Hold it right here. Step the right foot in, the left foot in. Guess what? You did it. This was Coach Paul Eugene's gentle flow standing act. We weren't rushing. We were taking our time, enjoying every second, every moment. Here's what I want you to do. Grab some and take some water and rehydrate your body. And I want your day to be flowing with peace, with love, with joy, with faith, and with hope down in your soul. This is Coach Paul Eugene. I will see you next time. Everyone just inhale up one last time. Palms in prayer, being in front of you. I will see you next time.